Killing spree that can end only one way. Someone's going to die. Next pretender. <gasps> Watch today at 4 on UPN 30. A physical attraction no. that could be fatal. Find them. Next, Mutant X. Watch tonight at 9 on UPN 30. Everybody's talking about the Music City Bowl. Yeah, right. You ain't seen nothing till you've seen the Music City Massacre tonight at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. It's the December to remember when Jerry the King Lawler comes home to get revenge with Brian Christopher, Spellbinder, Bart Sawyer, Kevin White. It's all going to kick off at 8 o'clock. The box office is going to open early at 5.30. Don't you dare miss it. When Lee Condry takes on Dice, Shane Bishop takes on Jazz, Hot Chocolate, Corey Williams returns to take on Rick Michaels. For the North American heavyweight title, Kevin White tries to recapture the belt from Ashley Hudson. Sleeper Hold versus Sleeper Hold, Bart Sawyer against Hot Rod Biggs with Athena. The Spellbinder takes on Dangerous Doug Gilbert. And in the main event, oh, 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 there's hell to pay when Jerry the King Lawler teams with Brian Christopher to take on those egotistical Mike Rapata, Big Bully Douglas with Ernest T as the cat. Tonight, Lawler, Christopher. Oh, don't you dare miss it. If car problems got you pinned for the one, two, three, you need to come see my friends at Mufflers, Brakes, and more. Come see my friend Robert and the gang, where they specialize in mufflers, brakes, and any of your other car repair needs. Don't wrestle with them old car problems. Bring them down here to my friends, mufflers, brakes, and more. I'm Michael Turco. Rick Hollifield's terrible accident is something I might have covered when I was a reporter in Nashville. I was going down I-40 when another 18-wheeler hit me head on. I called Bart Durham. He got me $1.8 million over my lifetime. Rick Hollifield got the help he needed. If I was injured and still lived in Nashville, I'd call Bart Durham. Call attorney Bart Durham, 242-9000. Justice is your right, and we demand it. A physical attraction that could be fatal. Find them. Next, Mutant X. Watch tonight at 9 on UPN 30. Do you yearn for the days of yesteryear? I'm Sheriff Taylor. And where dating was a little different. You can't pick out a wife in just two days. A time where the law was in your own hands. There are two sets of laws. One's for the police and one's for the ordinary citizens. Watch The Andy Griffith Show tonight at 10 and 10.30 on UPN 30. At North Lake Auto Mall, we've got a new attitude. We have a big selection of the vehicles you want, all at a fair price. And always great service. You'll get your money's worth at North Lake. Value, selection, low prices, and good service. What else could you ask for? How about satisfaction guarantee? North Lake Auto Mall, only 10 minutes from Rivergate in Gallatin. It's just a nice place to do business. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to USA Championship Wrestling on this historic Saturday in Nashville, Tennessee. In the ring, Barry Houston taking on screaming Norman Smiley. Smiley laying on the mat right now. We're joining this match about 25 minutes in. Smiley, back when World Championship Wrestling was flourishing, well, I don't know if it ever flourished, but Smiley was a big star down there. Norman came to uh, Nashville for the holidays as Barry just sucker punches him down to the mat again. And uh, this action coming to you from the Tennessee State Fairgrounds in Nashville, Tennessee, where tonight Jerry the King Lawler comes home to get revenge on Mike Rapata. You may remember six or seven months ago, Rapata piledrive Lawler turned his back on him in a tag match 
But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Lawler's bringing Brian Christopher as his tag team partner. And it's going to be wild, it's going to be great, and it's going to be tonight. The Tennessee State Fairgrounds. Smarty there, Dak, down to the mat again. Barry Houston controlling the match this far. Now, ladies and gentlemen, originally we had a cage match scheduled, but due to rescheduling and uh, some other technical problems, we will not be having the cage match. And uh, But I think the card's better the way we've rechanged it. Um, and we'll be showing you the whole card here shortly. Dangerous Doug Gilbert's going to be there. Brian Christopher, Mike Rapata, Spellbinder, host of others. Ashley Hudson will be defending the North American title tonight. Phenomenal card. New Year's Eve weekend. Going to happen tonight, December to remember. Jerry the King Lawler coming for revenge, and it's going to be great. Box office is going to open at 5.30 because, as you know, when Lawler comes to town, as Barry Houston does his own little wiggle, if you could call it that, when Lawler comes to town, you know, the people come out, and I know they're going to support him tonight. Jerry the King Lawler and Brian Christopher. Now Houston just humiliating Norman Smiley. Lawler and Christopher the same night. That's a rarity at the fairgrounds, and you get to see them both tonight, and we would love to have you out there. All kids' tickets tonight, 14 and under, are just 5 bucks, so the whole family can afford to come to wrestling tonight. Tennessee State Fairgrounds. Jerry the King Lawler, Brian Christopher, Mike Rapata, Big Bully Douglas, Dangerous Doug Gilbert. Smiley now mounting a offense here, and Houston there reverses it. Now backslide. No count there. I tell you, they're doing some old style wrestling here. Smiley has him up here. Very unorthodox maneuver here. Slams him right down. Norman Smiley, Barry Houston. Oh, Barry just kicks him in the head. Referee Kurt Heron staying on top of the action. Action tonight, Tennessee State Fairgrounds. Jerry the King Lawler coming home tonight. Well, Barry tried to set him up, and now Norman doing his old WCW spanking routine. Just slaps Houston down to the mat and slaps him in the corner and slaps him in the back. Whips Houston across. Screaming Norman Smiley. Whips Houston again. With so much force, Smiley goes down. Fans getting behind Norman here at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. Folks, nothing like seeing it live. If you're a casual attendee, tonight's the night you're going to want to be there. Jerry the King Lawler, Brian Christopher against Rapata and Douglas. And let me tell you something. Wait till you see the interviews on today's program. You can tell Lawler, Lawler's ready. And you can tell, I think, Rapata's got a surprise for Lawler tonight. Very unorthodox style of Norman Smiley. Absolutely. You know, he was a collegiate champion and the smiley i tell you is just a all-around great athlete just got back recently from england houston gets a one two three here barry houston with an upset here ladies and gentlemen Ooh, what a way to start off so everybody's talking about the music city bowl yeah right you ain't seen nothing till you seen the music city massacre tonight at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. It's the December to remember when Jerry the King Lawler comes home to get revenge with Brian Christopher, Spellbinder, Bart Sawyer, Kevin White. It's all gonna kick off at eight o'clock. The box office is gonna open early at 5.30. Don't you dare miss it. When Lee Condry takes on Dice, Shane Bishop takes on Jazz, Hot Chocolate, Corey Williams returns to take on Rick Michaels. For the North American heavyweight title, Kevin White tries to recapture the belt from Ashley Hudson. Sleeper hold versus sleeper hold. Bart Sawyer against Hot Rod Biggs with Athena. 
The Spellbinder takes on dangerous Doug Gilbert. And in the main event, oh, 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 there's hell to pay when Jerry the King Lawler teams with Brian Christopher to take on those egotistical Mike Rapata, Big Bully Douglas with Ernest T as the cat. Tonight, Lawler, Christopher. Oh, don't you dare miss it. Nashville, Tennessee, the year 2001 is just about to come to an end. And yours truly, the King Jerry Lawler and Grandmaster Sex A are going to send it off with a bang. I'm telling you, there are going to be fireworks galore tonight right here in Nashville, Tennessee. That's right. The King and Grandmaster are coming back to Nashville tonight, and we got a special purpose. You know about special purposes, don't you, Brian? Well, I'll tell you something, baby. Tonight, here in Nashville, I can't, you know, I just can't bring myself to call this guy Mike Rapata because he's always and always will be the Colorado kid to match. Right. Because he's just a kid, and tonight we're going to whip him like he's a kid. He's got this guy, Big Bully Douglas, going to team up with him, and they think they're going to do a number on the King of the Grandmaster. Tell them what's going to happen tonight. Tonight, you know, you talked about 2001. Right. I bet you didn't know this, and I bet a lot of people out there didn't know this, but I know it. The Grandmaster, Grandmaster Sex A, yeah. went undefeated all year long, all 2001, right there at the National Fairgrounds. I didn't, right. I didn't lose a match. Wow. So tonight, I intend on keeping that streak intact. And I would not want to be the Grandmaster Sex A's partner and lose a match for him. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I'm saying the Grandmaster, he might lose it up there. If somebody were to lose the match for him, his tag team oh, partner oh, would oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. You're talking about something bad might happen if some, some uh, fluke, some uh, crazy freak of nature thing happened where I lost the match, and of course that would make you lose too. Something right. bad might happen, is that what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is, you just keep up your end of the bargain, just don't lose the match, and you let the Grandmaster do what he does best off the top rope with that hip hop drop, you know what I'm saying? And then, if everything goes like I got it scheduled to go, we're gonna walk out of Nashville victorious, and the Grandmaster will still be undefeated all year long, man. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. Now, you're telling me that you wanna win the match with a hip hop drop. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, that's what all the fans want to see. <laughs> no, 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 no. The way the fans in Nashville want to see things come down, if you know what I mean, tonight, they want to see the king give that Mike Rapata the biggest, baddest, meanest pile driver in the history of Nashville. That's what the people in Nashville want to see, and they want to see me get my hand raised. So you do your thing. You do it all with Big Bully Douglas or whatever it is, you hip-hop and flip-flop and uh, whatever that stuff is that you call it that you do. But when it's all said and done and the dust clears, the king will take it with the pile driver. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. What? You can give all the pile drivers you want, but just remember one thing. Don't lose the match for me. Okay? You got it? Huh. Shit. All right, and Mike Rapata and Big Bully, you got what we're going to give you, and that's two butt kickings tonight in Nashville, Tennessee. Right? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. My kingdom, my land, <laughs> my peasanty, peasanty, pez people. I brought along Big Sexy with me. Yo, 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 baby, how's it going out there? <laughs> Big Sexy, what Woo! about last week when we took James Storm and we did the Christmas present? We done <laughs> just like I told Rick Michaels we oh, would. Oh, yes, daddy -o. We would break him down. And now tonight, they're waiting for the king and too sexy. Well, you've already got the king <laughs> and Big Sexy. What more could you want? <laughs> well, I know. I know Jerry Lawler, and I know Brian Christopher. I know you well, because I dropped you on your head. Not once, but twice. And now tonight, you're coming for your revenge. Well, I tell you what, I've got a special weapon for you tonight, and it's going to be a December to remember. <laughs> Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Strike a pose, baby. Strike a pose. <laughs> Tonight, it's going to be cat scratch fever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
How arrogant. Well, folks, I want to recap this one more time. This is how we got in the position we're in right now. Jerry the King Lawler, Mike Rapata tag team against Terry Taylor and superstar Bill Dundee. June 2nd from the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. What a packed house we had. Lawler, Lawler, Dundee. There you see Rapata has Taylor pinned there. Rapata in the action was double teamed throughout the night, seeing a lot of the match, trying to make a tag to Jerry Lawler. And somewhere in the match, Rapata decided that Lawler wasn't pulling his weight. And here, a double collision by Dundee and Rapata. About 18 minutes in the match at this point. Both men down. Both men desperately need to make a tag. Taylor over in the corner cheering Dundee on. Rapata finally makes a tag to Jerry Lawler. And Lawler comes in as only Lawler can. And cleaning house on Terry Taylor and Bill Dundee. Rapata there down at the... The front of the screen, as you can see there, Lawler still taking the match, getting ready to punch Terry Taylor on the jaw. Again, there you go. Rapata finally making his way, grabbing the second rope. Dundee down the back. Lawler, big body slam on Terry Taylor. What a great match this was. Lawler sends some victory here. The big punch off the top rope. Lawler's trademark finish. And he's got Terry Taylor beat. And lo and behold, his own tag team partner, Mike Rapata, now known to the world as King Mike, kicks Lawler in the ribs hard enough to stun him, kick him off. And then Mike picks Jerry Lawler up. And to add insult to injury, does the pile driver, Lawler's patented hold for over 25 years, not once but three times, leaves Lawler laying, leaves superstar Bill Dundee laying. And the reason we're showing you this is we've... We've accrued a lot of new viewers over the last three weeks, and we want to recap to you how we got to tonight, December 29th, December to remember, only at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Strike a pose, baby. Strike a pose. <laughs> tonight, it's going to be cat scratch fever. <laughs> So everybody's talking about the Music City Bowl. Yeah, right. You ain't seen nothing till you've seen the Music City Massacre tonight at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. It's the December to remember when Jerry the King Lawler comes home to get revenge with Brian Christopher, Spellbinder, Bart Sawyer, Kevin White. It's all going to kick off at 8 o'clock. The box office is going to open early at 5.30. Don't you dare miss it. When Lee Condry takes on Dice, Shane Bishop takes on Jazz, Hot Chocolate, Corey Williams returns to take on Rick Michaels for the North American heavyweight title. Kevin White tries to recapture the belt from Ashley Hudson. Sleeper Hold versus Sleeper Hold. Bart Sawyer against Hot Rod Biggs with Athena. The Spellbinder takes on Dangerous Doug Gilbert. And in the main event, oh, 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 there's hell to pay when Jerry the King Lawler teamed with Brian Christopher to take on those egotistical Mike Rapata, Big Bully Douglas with Ernest T as the cat. Tonight, Lawler, Christopher. Oh, don't you dare miss it. Did somebody say party? Well, if you're in Wilson County, there's only one place where everybody goes to party. The Thirsty Turtle in Lebanon, Tennessee. And folks, how many times have you heard, sorry, the kitchen's closed. Well, the Thirsty Turtle, not only can you drink and dance all night long, the kitchen stays open till they close. The Thirsty Turtle in Lebanon, Tennessee. Party! Did somebody say toe? There's only one name to know, Shorty's Wrecker in Lebanon, Tennessee. Call him 449-0372. Shorty can move a semi or a Volvo. Heck, he can move a house. Shorty's Wrecker Service, Lebanon, Tennessee, 449-0372. Call him today. You're never stranded when you got Shorty's number in your wallet, 449-0372. 
Right now at iMasters, get any pair of glasses in the store free for you, a family member, or a friend. Just buy one pair of glasses and get any second pair of equal or lesser value frame and lenses free. Your free pair can be a different prescription for a family member or a friend, even with our thin and light slim light progressive lenses. So get your free pair today, only at iMasters. Also at iMasters, choose two complete pairs of glasses from a large assortment of great looking frames for just $99. You know, the world is wondering why Bart Sawyer is so upset at Hot Rod Biggs. Well, this says it right here. A picture's worth a thousand words. Hot Rod Biggs pushing the scales over 300 pounds, coming out dressed like Roddy Piper, making, you know, just making fun of Bart Sawyer's mentor. Ho, 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 there's Miss Athena, folks. Merry Christmas, everybody. Now, the match is intense, and we're going to show it to you right now. And Hot Rod Biggs attacks Bart Sawyer right from the beginning. I want to bring in my special color commentary this week, Tommy Lloyd. And Tommy, come on in here. Tommy's out of San Antonio, Texas. Special guest in the studio this week. And uh, we've got some exciting action going on here at USA Championship Wrestling. Hello, Bert. It's a pleasure to be with you today here watching this match. Bart Sawyer seems to be taking a pretty good beating from Hot Rod Biggs. I'll tell you, these two have been going at it for three weeks. And Biggs, maniacal and has just making fun of Roddy Piper and his relationship with Bart Sawyer there. The very dangerous Athena on the outside. I know down in San Antonio, you watch us on the American One Network, so you're very familiar with who our wrestlers are. As Athena, she's dangerous and devious, choking Bart Sawyer on that second rope, and she'll be there tonight in Hot Rod Big's corner as it's sleeper hold versus sleeper hold tonight. My goodness, that's got to be 350 pounds on the throat of Bart Sawyer there from Hot Rod Big's. This Hot Rod Big seems to be a very devious man. He has a look in his eyes like he just doesn't feel pain like a normal man does. Look Two at elbows to the midsection don't phase Biggs as he pokes Sawyer in the eyes. Whip Sawyer across the ring. Up and over, Sawyer trying to bring the big man down, and he does. Well, that's a and lot Athena of has the referee distracted in the corner. Biggs, he had him pounded for the count of 15, my gosh. Well, it was a lot of weight brought down there. Big clothesline by Biggs. Clothesline sends Sawyer down to the mat. Hot Rod Biggs. Well, actually, only wants to be called Hot Rod. But what's going to be hot tonight, the Tennessee State Fairgrounds, is Jerry the King Lawler, especially when he sees this interview, what Mike Rapata did with Ernest T. as the cat. That's a very touchy situation right now. That cat, that's a... Crazy looking character that Rapata has with him. Does he get this guy with him all the time? Or is and he's bringing him tonight to the fairgrounds as the cat. I mean, everybody knows that Lawler has, you know, and the cat, that's a past thing, and we need to leave it alone. And Mike Rapata is just trying to do it to get the psychological edge on the king tonight. And I'm telling you, the king is hot. And, folks, when he sees that interview, he's going to be damn upset. Because right now, folks, we're editing this show since I had to redo this whole show about 3 o'clock in the morning, Saturday morning, since we changed the card. And I fired some wrestlers and, and uh, kind of cleaned the waters, if you will. And, and uh, there's Athena doing her dirty work. So we had to come back in the studio in the middle of the night. Thank God Jeff Grimes made the drive down from Kentucky to help us edit this show very early in the morning. And I want to say thank you to UPN for letting us edit so late since we had to re-edit this whole show. We had the whole show done last Wednesday like we normally do, but then things change. And I tell you what, it's a better card than we've ever had. We've changed the card tonight, and it's bigger, better than ever. Lawler Christopher, you heard the intensity in their voice. They're going for the big one tonight. And Rapata Lawler's coming to town to pile drive you through the mat. And you know that's what the fans want to see as Hot Rod just DDTs Bart Sawyer through the mat. Spellbinders there tonight against dangerous Doug Gilbert. Hot Rod Biggs going for the cover. Big kick out by Bart Sawyer. Bart Sawyer needs to mount some offense here. This man is really showing some wear and tear on his body. Hot Rod well, Biggs. When you think Sawyer's out. It's when he it absolutely comes back to life. Sawyer can take more punishment than most I've ever seen in the squared circle. Very similar to Roddy Roddy Piper, his mentor. They do have a lot of the similarities in their way of wrestling. This Hot Rod Biggs, though, man, he just is a vicious, vicious individual. 
I want to thank Lola Clendenning for calling me last night, giving me a new phone number. And also, I was very heartbroken this week and just saddened at the news at the death of one of the rock and roll RPMs, Mike Davis, died of a heart attack. He was only in his 40s. And uh, what a great guy he was. I worked with him in Dallas, Texas years ago. Uh, Mike Davis passed away this week of the Rock and Roll RPMs. And, of course, they wrestled in Memphis and, and the Dallas wrestling office for years. And he and Tommy Lane were a great tag team. And I send out my condolences to their family. Uh, we're definitely going to miss Mike. He was just an awesome wrestler, but just an awesome individual. As Bart Sawyer whips Hot Rod across, and now Sawyer's got the sleeper hold. That patented Roddy Piper sleeper hold. Only way Piper does it, and Sawyer knows the key, and Pig's already down to one knee. The referee Eric is checking Not Rod's arm. He's got the one. He checks the two. It falls. One more, and it's over, folks. Whoop! He grabbed the rope, Tommy. Yeah, it looks like Hot Rod's grabbing hard to the ref. What? Oh, my God. He brought him into Bart Sawyer. A head on collision. Hot Chalk Glory Williams. Coming back home tonight, too, as the dangerous Athena sliding a chair into the ring for Hot Rod Biggs. What's Biggs The referee's doing? knocked out. Biggs has a chair. Sawyer up to his feet. Whip Sawyer across. Runs Sawyer's head right into the chair. Just throws the chair right to him. That's a disqualification. But I don't think Biggs cares. All he cares about is the punishment. Athena making her way up into the ring. Biggs now in that steel chair oh, what just throws it on the back of Bart Sawyer. My gosh, Sawyer bleeding. Sawyer's cut open. Oh my God, Sawyer's ripped open. And now Biggs, hot rod. Oh my God, just making blood, just pummeling the forehead of young Bart Sawyer. He rips the hot rod t shirt off. Hot rod Biggs just pounding on the forehead of Bart Sawyer. Sawyer had him in that sleeper, and then he rammed the referee into Biggs. Big Unbelievable. D Big DDT on the chair, grabs Athena. Look at him gloat. Just watch him gloat. That is sickening to watch a man do this. Tonight it's sleeper hold versus sleeper hold in the middle of the ring. Sawyer looking for revenge as Biggs leaves him in a bloody mess in the middle of the ring. Athena now very arrogantly leaving the ring hot rod biggs he bart sawyer is going to win this one by disqualification but it, the victory is really worthless when you understand that he's left there in a pool of his own blood in the middle of the ring oh my gosh i saw hot rod bend down by the side of the ring a while ago what wicked, is he up to wicked chair shots biggs coming back in now oh and he drapes the kilt and spits on it over Bart Sawyer. Let's go to a break. Insult to injury. <laughs> right here, baby, at the Nashville Sports Arena. Bart Sawyer, <laughs> I told you, man, that if you came and you stepped in my backyard, if you stepped into this square circle, that I was taking you out. And the greatest part about it is that I not only did I take you out, but I took you out with the sleeper hold. That your hero, your idol, Roddy Piper, used to use. Well, I took you out with it, baby. I told you that there's only one hot rod left in this business, baby, and that is Hot Rod Biggs. I'll see you at the fairgrounds tonight, Bart Sawyer. So everybody's talking about the Music City Bowl. Yeah, right. You ain't seen nothing till you've seen the Music City Massacre tonight at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. It's the December to remember when Jerry the King Lawler comes home to get revenge with Brian Christopher, Spellbinder, Bart Sawyer, Kevin White. It's all going to kick off at 8 o'clock. The box office is going to open early at 5.30. Don't you dare miss it when Lee Condry takes on Dice, Shane Bishop takes on Jazz, Hot Chocolate, Corey Williams returns to take on Rick Michaels. For the North American heavyweight title, Kevin White tries to recapture the belt from Ashley Hudson. Sleeper hold versus sleeper hold. Bart Sawyer against Hot Rod Biggs with Athena. The Spellbinder takes on dangerous Doug Gilbert. And in the main event, oh, 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 there's hell to pay when Jerry the King Lawler teamed with Brian Christopher to take on those egotistical Mike Rapata, 
Big Bully Douglas with Ernest T as the cat. Tonight, Lawler, Christopher. Oh, don't you dare miss it. Biggs, I don't think I'd be buying any used cars from you. You actually look like you believe that you beat me with a sleeper hold. Everybody that was in the Tennessee State Fairgrounds Christmas night, they saw what you did. They saw you use the foreign object. Hey, listen, I'm not going to whine. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to moan. Because, you know, it's Christmas, and I was visited by three ghosts. That's right. Ghost of Christmas past, Christmas present, and Christmas future. And you know how I always spend my Christmases? I spend them wrestling. So uh, for Christmas past, the uh, all kind of crumpled up and gnarled up old timer, uh, but looked like he could still kick somebody's ass. He led me down the road. He showed me the marquee on the arena. The marquee says wrestling. Maybe some folks have forgotten what that marquee says. Then the next ghost shows up takes me down the path, shows me present wrestling. They're flying through the air. They're like Superman. Oh, how many times have you ever been in a bar fight, jumped up on the bar and said, wait, I'm going to do a backflip. <laughs> then I'm visited by Wrestling Future. Wrestling Future is going to come down, bigs, two guys that can wrestle that can bring a hold out of the closet, out of nowhere, and beat you in the center of the ring and make you happy that you're out of it. Well, Christmas night, Biggs, you picked the sleeper hold. Yeah, maybe Piper taught me a thing or two about the sleeper hold. But I was a hell of a wrestler before I ever met him. So, tonight... In the Tennessee State Fairgrounds, this is the last wrestling card of this year. The year 2001, it closes Saturday night for wrestling. I am not going out of the year 2001 by losing to your fat carcass. So you join me in the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. Mom, dad, kids, if every week you say, boy, we ought to go to wrestling. Well, I'm going to tell you, this is the week to go. This is it. This is the big kahuna, the big enchilada. And Biggs, it's you and me. You bring your best sleeper, because I got mine. And we're going to get it on right in the center of the ring tonight. And you are no hot rod. I'm Michael Turco. When I was a reporter in Nashville, the death of Reverend Jackson's wife was the saddest of news. After our car broke down, we got out. And just then, a huge truck lost a wheel, and it killed my wife. I called Bob Durham, and he helped me. Reverend Jackson got the help he needed. If I was injured and still lived in Nashville, I'd call Bart Durham. Call attorney Bart Durham, 242-9000. Justice is your right, and we demand it. Did somebody say toe? There's only one name to know. Shorty's Wrecker in Lebanon, Tennessee. Call him 449-0372. Shorty can move a semi or a Volvo. Heck, he can move a house. Shorty's Wrecker Service, Lebanon, Tennessee. 449-0372. Call him today. You're never stranded when you got Shorty's number in your wallet. 449-0372. France's greatest detective is missing. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. In the curse of the Pink Panther. Today at 2. On the next Pretender, missing persons are being found. I dug him up myself. The Pretender hunts for a twisted murderer. You killed them all. You buried him alive. A killing spree that can end only one way. Someone's going to die. Next Pretender. Watch today at 4 on UPN 30. 
selection, great people, and 1% financing on used cars is what you get at Bill Hurd Chevrolet in Nashville. And with over 28 acres of inventory, you will get a deal. Our used car store is loaded up with exceptional vehicles. Now available with 1% financing. Plus, when you close a deal with Bill Hurd, we'll pay off your trade no matter how much you owe. Get 1% financing for a limited time. See the low price leader today. I-24 East, exit 60. Bill Hurd Used Cars. That's right, Jerry the King Lawler here. And let me tell you something, Nashville. The year 2001 is coming to an end, and we want to give it a proper send-off. That's right, fireworks and all that kind of stuff. Ah, that's kind of passe. We want to be where the real action is. And I'm going to tell you where that is. Right down the road in Lebanon, Tennessee, at Nikki Hall's Thirsty Turtle. That's right, the Thirsty Turtle is the place to be New Year's Eve, because that's where the king is going to be. The king is going to be emceeing the big show that night, and I'm going to tell you, it is going to be one night to remember. So come on down. Join the King, Nikki Hall, as we bring in the year 2002. Are you ready for that? Spend New Year's Eve with the King and Nikki Hall at the Thirsty Turtle in Lebanon, Tennessee. We'll see you there, New Year's Eve. So everybody's talking about the Music City Bowl. Yeah, right. You ain't seen nothing till you've seen the Music City Massacre tonight at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. It's the December to remember when Jerry the King Lawler comes home to get revenge with Brian Christopher, Spellbinder, Bart Sawyer, Kevin White. It's all going to kick off at 8 o'clock. The box office is going to open early at 5.30. Don't you dare miss it. When Lee Condry takes on Dice, Shane Bishop takes on Jazz, Hot Chocolate, Corey Williams returns to take on Rick Michaels. For the North American heavyweight title, Kevin White tries to recapture the belt from Ashley Hudson. Sleeper hold versus sleeper hold. Bart Sawyer against Hot Rod Biggs with Athena. The Spellbinder takes on dangerous Doug Gilbert. And in the main event, oh, there's hell to pay when Jerry the King Lawler teams with Brian Christopher to take on those egotistical Mike Rapata, Big Bully Douglas with Ernest T as the cat. Tonight, Lawler, Christopher, Oh, don't you dare miss it. Okay, and back to action. It's everybody's favorite outlaw, Lee Condre against Norvell Jackson. Lee Condre ducking under Norvell. Norvell, a drop kick. Norvell Jackson with a big old drop kick. Yeah, and going for the cover, speed on the rope. Because the only way Norvell knows how to play is dirty. Action coming to you from the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. What a show today, folks. What feuds are brewing in USA Wrestling? What about Bart Sawyer, Hot Rod, and then Jerry the King Lawler, and Mike Rapata, and did you see the new cat? Unbelievable. And what a collision it's gonna be when Spellbinder and dangerous Doug Gilbert collide tonight. There again, Norvell Jackson trying to use the bottom rope on outlaw Lee Condry. I tell you, this Condry shows a lot of promise the fans are really getting behind Lee, at least from right here in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, we're proud of his efforts, and he's doing a, a great job, and it's come a long way. Unbelievable! There you see right there why the fans are getting behind. Lee Condry here in USA Championship Wrestling. Stunned Norvell, I'll tell you what. Punch to the midsection. Now to the back of the neck. Lee Condry, Norvell Jackson, USA Championship Wrestling. Condry with a nice clothesline sends Jackson down to the mat. I tell you, Condry's been taking it to him here now, here this last minute. Condry will be on that card tonight, taking on another one of the Blackbird dice. If you've not seen these Blackbirds, they are triple dangerous. There's three of them, three of them, and they are genius. A roll up. A very awkward roll-up, nonetheless, gets Condry the victory right here on USA Wrestling. If car problems got you pinned for the one, two, three, you need to come see my friends at Mufflers, Brakes, and More. Come see my friend Robert and the gang, where they specialize in mufflers, brakes, and any of your other car repair needs.
Don't wrestle with them old car problems. Bring them down here to my friends, mufflers, brakes, and more. Holidays, a time to rejoice, a time to celebrate, a time when 1,708 people died in alcohol-related deaths last year during the holidays. Children, parents, families. Please, help put an end to this tradition. This holiday season, keep the roadways safe and think if you drink. Think if you drink is brought to you by UPN 30 and the law offices of Bart Durham. I'm Ernestine Grigsby for the Genesis Titan, number one fan, here to tell you about another winning team, Car Plus. From tune-ups to oil changes, brake jobs to shocks and starters, your car is in good hands at Car Plus. Car Plus has five locations in Middle Tennessee to serve you and is locally owned and operated. So they're Titan fans just like you and me. So come in and let this winning team take care of your car. And don't forget to pick up your free Titan fans at all five Car Plus locations. Nashville, Tennessee, the year 2001 is just about to come to an end. And yours truly, the King Jerry Lawler and Grandmaster Sex A are going to send it off with a bang. I'm telling you, there are going to be fireworks galore tonight right here in Nashville, Tennessee. That's right. The King and Grandmaster are coming back to Nashville tonight, and we got a special purpose. You know about special purposes, don't you, Brian? Well, I'll tell you something, baby. Tonight here in Nashville, I can't... You know, I just can't bring myself to call this guy Mike Rapata because he's always and always will be the Colorado kid to match right. Because he's just a kid, and tonight we're going to whip him like he's a kid. He's got this guy, big bully Douglas, going to team up with him, and they think they're going to do a number on the king of the grandmaster. Tell them what's going to happen tonight. Tonight, you know, you talked about 2001. Right. I bet you didn't know this, and I bet a lot of people out there didn't know this, but I know it. The Grandmaster, Grandmaster Sex A, Dad, went undefeated all year long, all 2001, right there at the National Fairgrounds. I didn't, I didn't lose a match. Wow. So tonight, I intend on keeping that streak intact. And I would not want to be the Grandmaster Sex A's partner and lose a match for him. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I'm saying the Grandmaster, he might lose it up there. If somebody were to lose the match for him, his tag team oh, partner oh, would oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. You're talking about something bad might happen if some, some uh, fluke, some uh, crazy freak of nature thing happened where I lost the match. And of course, that would make you lose too. Something right. bad might happen. Is that what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. So what I'm saying is you just keep up your end of the bargain. Just don't lose the match. And you let the Grandmaster do what he does best off the top rope with that hip-hop drop. You know what I'm saying? And then if everything goes like I got it scheduled to go, we're going to walk out of Nashville victorious. And the Grandmaster will still be undefeated all year long. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Now, you're telling me that you want to win the match with a hip-hop drop. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, that's what all the fans want to see. <laughs> no, 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 no. The way the fans in Nashville want to see things come down, if you know what I mean, tonight, they want to see the king give that Mike Rapata the biggest, baddest, meanest pile driver in the history of Nashville. That's what the people in Nashville want to see, and they want to see me get my hand raised. So you do your thing. You do it all with Big Bully Douglas or whatever it is, you hip-hop and flip-flop and uh, whatever that stuff is that you call it that you do. But when it's all said and done and the dust clears, the king will take it with the pile driver. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. What? You can give all the power drivers you want, but just remember one thing. Don't lose the match for me. Okay? You got it? Huh. Shit. Yeah. All right, and Micropata and Big Bully, you got what we're going to give you, and that's two butt tickets tonight in Nashville, Tennessee. Right? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. My kingdom, my land, <laughs> my peasanty, peasanty, pez people. 
I brought along Big Sexy with me. Yo, 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 baby, how's it going out there? <laughs> Big Sexy, what Woo! about last week when we took James Storm and we did the Christmas present? We done just <laughs> like I told Rick Michaels we oh, would. Oh, yes, daddy We would break him down. And now tonight, they're waiting for the king and too sexy. Well, you've already got the king <laughs> and Big Sexy. What more could you want? <laughs> well, I know. I know Jerry Lawler, and I know Brian Christopher. I know you well, because I dropped you on your head. Not once, but twice. And now tonight, you're coming for your revenge. Well, I tell you what, I've got a special weapon for you tonight, and it's going to be a December to remember. <laughs> Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Strike a pose, baby. Strike a pose. <laughs> Tonight it's going to be cat scratch fever. <laughs> so everybody's talking about the Music City Bowl. Yeah, right. You ain't seen nothing till you've seen the Music City Massacre tonight at the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. It's the December to remember when Jerry the King Lawler comes home to get revenge with Brian Christopher, Spellbinder, Bart Sawyer, Kevin White. It's all going to kick off at 8 o'clock. The box office is going to open early at 5.30. Don't you dare miss it. When Lee Condry takes on Dice, Shane Bishop takes on Jazz, Hot Chocolate, Corey Williams returns to take on Rick Michaels. For the North American heavyweight title, Kevin White tries to recapture the belt from Ashley Hudson. Sleeper hold versus sleeper hold. Bart Sawyer against Hot Rod Biggs with Athena. The Spellbinder takes on Dangerous Doug Gilbert. And in the main event, oh, 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 there's hell to pay when Jerry the King Lawler teams with Brian Christopher to take on those egotistical micropata Big Bully Douglas with Ernest T as the cat. Tonight, Lawler, Christopher, oh, don't you dare miss it. Did somebody say party? Well, if you're in Wilson County, there's only one place where everybody goes to party. The Thirsty Turtle in Lebanon, Tennessee. And folks, how many times have you heard, sorry, the kitchen's closed. Well, at the Thirsty Turtle, not only can you drink and dance all night long, the kitchen stays open till they close. The Thirsty Turtle in Lebanon, Tennessee. Party! Did somebody say toe? There's only one name to know, Shorty's Wrecker in Lebanon, Tennessee. Call him 449-0372. Shorty can move a semi or a Volvo. Heck, he can move a house. Shorty's Wrecker Service, Lebanon, Tennessee, 449-0372. Call him today. You're never stranded when you got Shorty's number in your wallet, 449-0372. They intimidated the jury. You just left three stone cold killers back out on the street. Now, someone's playing judge and executioner. There's a psycho out there hunting us down. Peer pressure is an ugly thing. It's a case of vigilante justice. That's not who did this. With Nash caught in a crossfire. Nash Bridges. Today at 5 on UPN 30. At North Lake Auto Mall, we've got a new attitude. We have a big selection of the vehicles you want, all at a fair price. And always great service. You'll get your money's worth at Northlake. Value, selection, low prices, and good service. What else could you ask for? How about satisfaction guarantee? Northlake Auto Mall, only 10 minutes from Rivergate in Gallatin. It's just a nice place to do business. Some of my favorite Jeopardy moments are when we play host to kids and teenagers. You really make me feel inadequate. Sorry about that. Tonight at 6 on UPN 30. Bert Fred is back with Tommy Lloyd ringside. It's Mike Rapon and Big Bully Douglas against the Golden Adonis, Chris Harris, and Kevin White. And I tell you what, this is today's TV main event. Well, Tommy, we're getting close to December to remember tonight and you can feel the excitement in the air. Yes, it's going to be a full moon tonight, Burt Prentice at the fairgrounds. 
Mike Rapata just keeps throwing fuel to the fire, heating things up with Jerry Lawler and Brian Christopher. I know I'm going to be sitting ringside tonight. I'm going to pay my 10 bucks for a ticket, and I'm going to watch Mike Rapata get pile drive with Jerry the King Lawler tonight. Massive double clothesline by Big Bully Douglas and Chris Harris. Championship prices are in effect tonight. Ringside 15, General 13. All kids age 14 through 6, just 5 bucks. So you can afford to bring the whole family. But look what you get. My God, Jerry the King Lawler, Brian Christopher, Mike Rapata, Spellbinder, Dangerous Doug Gilbert, Sleeper versus Sleeper match, North American title match. Somebody stop me. Corey Williams, Shane Bishop, Lee Condry, all that tonight. It's December to remember. This is the big one. Bart Sawyer said it best. If you're a fan and every week you say, you know, we should go this week, we should go. This is the one you want to see as Mike Rapata takes that chain and just wraps it around the throat of Kevin White. Where the hell's the referee? Looks like he's asleep. Look at here. Ernest T in the corner. He's taking over on the chain. This young kid doesn't have a chance. Three on one. This purple freak on the outside now dressing himself up like the cat. And they swear that tonight he's coming as a cat. And I tell you, what a sight to behold that is. There's referee Kurt Heron. I guess he went to get a hot dog at the New World Concession Stand. And I know they do have great hot dogs. They have the best pizza in town. But hey, we got a match going here. Also, folks, remember, we got great concessions out at the fair. What an arrogant pin here by Rapata. Donna will have the box office open at 5.30 tonight. So get there early. If you want a ringside seat, guaranteeing you better get it early. This Rapata's getting a couple of blows to the gut. He's motioning Bully to draw the ref's attention. Bully comes in. The ref goes straight to him like Rapata wanted. He's fighting back, fighting back. Rapata goes over. He goes to make a tag. He makes a tag, but Rapata pulls him away. Kevin the White plays a tag to Chris Harris. Harris is in. The ref didn't see it. Harris made the tag, and the ref didn't see it. But on the other side of the ring, Bully and Rapata change without a tag. A lot of people don't know that Bully and Rapata Four years ago, we're a tag team in Missouri. Very popular tag team. This isn't their first rodeo. They've been tag partners in the past. It's obvious they're an experienced tag team. Look at the way they work together in the ring. Big Bully Douglas, Mike Rapata, and Ernest T, also known as the Cat, tonight against Jerry the King Lawler, Brian Christopher. Don't forget New Year's Eve, too. Lawler's going to be alert. Or at the Thirsty Turtle with Vern Gosden at the Thirsty Turtle and Nikki Hall. A big, big night of, big night uh, over at Thirsty Turtle, New Year's Eve. If you want to see some great country music, nothing like Vern Gosden and Jerry the King Lawler one night. Maybe Lawler could get up and sing for the people too. You know, he recorded a couple albums in his day. I never bought the albums. There again, Rapata with that arrogant tag. Kevin White's had enough. The Golden Adonis, Chris Harris, waiting on the outside of the ring. White desperately needs to make the pin. Kevin White, former North American heavyweight champion. Rapata, former world NWA champion. But what the hell does NWA mean anymore? Rapata tags out to Big Bully Douglas. What a shot to the head by Big Bully as Rapata holds Kevin White still for him. Bully. The only NWA promoter worthwhile is Mike Porter. Based there out of Columbia, Tennessee, and Mike's doing a great job. They got a card tonight at the old uh, armory down there. Folks, there's only one place for wrestling in Columbia. You know, that's at the rec center, which is the old National Guard armory. Kevin White taking it to Big Bully Douglas. Douglas reverses. Introduced to Mike Rapata's kneecap to the back. I tell you, this Rapata's became a dirty player. That Ernest T, uh, there's nothing, nothing more rotten than him. Well, if there is anything more rotten at all than him, it would be Mike Rapata's attitude as of late. Bully going for the cover. Down to two on Kevin White. Chris Harris really wanting in the middle of this one. Bully with a blatant choke right there in the middle of the ring. Tags Rapata in. Hot chocolate returns tonight to the Tennessee State Fairgrounds. We've missed old Corey Williams lately. He's an exciting athlete to watch in the ring. The fans seem to love him. Hot Rod Sawyer, sleeper versus sleeper. Tonight, Spellbinder taking on dangerous Doug Gilbert. 
folks. We originally had been advertising a cage match. The cage match has been canceled tonight. All the attention is going on Lawler and Christopher. Will they be able to pile drive a Rapata through the mat? I'd rather see Rapata get pile drive through the mat and see anybody's head get crashed into a cage. One of those padded Micropata drop kicks on Kevin White sends him down to the floor. What an arrogant cover. Rapata and Bully are just, they're a vicious tag team, and they, they're just adding fuel to the fire with Jerry the King Lawler and Brian Christopher. They just don't know what they're getting themselves into. Rapata has started his own company called Me Incorporated. And you know, he has several people that he's training. And there, the referee finally sees Harris make the tag. Harris taking it to Big Bully Douglas. Whips him across. Nobody home. Dance Big press. Dance press. Punch in the side of the head of Big Bully Douglas. Harris now knocks Rapata clean off the ringside. Right to the front row. Too bad he didn't land on that purple freak. Now big DDT by Chris Harris. And he's got the cover. He's got the cover on Douglas and Rapata breaks up the count. Look at the punches by Rapata. The referee seems to have lost a little bit of the control in this Rapata match. is not the legal man in this match. Now a big bulldog by Harris. Rapata's not the legal man, referee. Big Bully, Bully Douglas, all four men in the ring right now. Rapata and Harris in one corner. Big Bully Douglas, Kevin White in one corner. Tonight, it's going to be Lawler and Christopher against Rapata and Douglas. Chris Harris putting on that big old finishing move. Is Rapata going to tap out? Can he hold Scorpion on? Scorpion leg lock on Rapata, and Douglas comes back. Harris Central down to the floor. You always got to worry about that purple freak on the outside. They grab Kevin White. What's Rapata doing? He's going to hit him. Oh, he missed. Rapata's in the ropes. Man, I thought he had him. It was close. It was close. They're both up. Kick to the stomach. Punch to the chest. Rapata's back to them to the ropes. Headbutt, punch. He shoots him across. Drop kick by Kevin White. Beautiful drop down. kick by Kevin White. Now Big Bully goes in and knocks Kevin White to the side of the head. Chris Harris comes in from the other side. On Rapata, picks it up for a big body slam. The referee goes outside to the legal men, which are Big Bully Douglas and Kevin White. The referee trying to split them up. Chris Harris on the top rope. We only got a minute of TV time left. And the big elbow off the top. Harris is finishing maneuver. He's got Rapata pinned in the middle of the referee. Where's the referee, Burt Prentice? Where is the referee? Harris pinned in the middle of the ring, and the referee is on with Kevin White. Bully into the ring. Bully going to the second rope. He comes off with a big elbow to the back of the head. More like a sledgehammer to the back of the ring of Harris. Bully's putting Rapata on top. The referee turns around. One, two, two. Count of two. Not enough. Not enough to beat Chris Harris. Not today. They don't call him the Wildcat for nothing, Bert. You're right. He definitely is the Wildcat. Now Kevin White on the second rope. There's Ernest C coming over, and he hands Mike Rapata the chain. Mike Rapata got a chain wrapped around his fist. White punching Big Bully Douglas on the other side. And what Rapata a just... What happened? The ref sees the chain. The ref has seen the chain. And it's just, oh my God! Rapata knocks the referee senseless. That'll cost him $500. Rapata just swirling that chain around, saying, Me. Jerry Lawler's going to have some me for you tonight, I'm afraid, Mike Rapata. You and your me crown. Rapata has left three men laying in the ring again, thanks to that chain. A big bully Douglas getting up with the second rope. You know, Brian Christopher's been known to have a chain in his day, too. Oh, my gosh, how arrogant. Now bully dropping the strap a la Lawler. Coming off with Lawler's finishing maneuver on Chris Harris. Let's see who's laughing tonight when Lawler does that to you. Let Brian Christopher some more. Let me tell you, there's hell to pay in Nashville tonight. When Lawler and Christopher get to town, it will definitely be a December to remember tonight in Nashville, Bert. Look at Rapata and the arrogance. Now he's up on the second rope. What's he doing? 
He's a, making fun of Brian Christopher, it looks like Brian to me. Brian Christopher. Trying to do a hip hop drop, but well, he didn't do it. More like Looked a hip hop like flop. We'll see you tonight, Lawler Christopher. One day your phone service is running okay. The next day it comes to a complete stop. Don't fret. Phone Reconnect of America can get your phone running again. And if you stay around, their rates will go down, down, down. Not up, up, up. Call Phone Reconnect of America. There's no deposit, no credit check, and there are no hidden charges. Phone Reconnect of America can get your phone running again. Call Phone Reconnect of America. Happy holidays from all of us at UPN 30. Enter the world of professional wrestling at the International Wrestling Academy. 615-423-1861. Guys, girls, midgets, referees, managers, you too can be a professional wrestler. Tom Burton, Candy Devine. Are you burdened by too much credit card debt? When I was dealing with the credit card companies, I felt like I was...